Liquefied natural gas is coming on strong in B.C. It is a relative newcomer to the province with a major push from the B.C. government. But a group of UNBC students are asking whether it's too little too late. It's the buzz all around B.C.'s natural resource sector, liquefied natural gas. It's what prompted the Northern Economics Student Society at UNBC to host a forum to answer the question, is LNG a viable option or a Hail Mary by the B.C. government, especially with so much competition from places like Australia? Well, it's a couple of things we're looking at at the symposium today, actually. We're looking at, like, what are the issues and, like, what do we need to do to get this liquefied natural gas to work in B.C.? So, like, the issues that we're looking at are the environmental issues, which could be hazardous to our environment, of course. And we're also looking at the social issues, so things like um, trying to get skilled trained to get these infrastructures built so that we can export natural gas. The competition is not just with LNG-rich countries, but also from within. The provincial government has identified 18 different LNG projects within the province, and the timing is critical. There are 11 probably viable uh, companies that are saying they'd like to get an export license and be, be able to locate at one of the ports and ship. So today, all the signs are positive, but timing will be an issue. There's another catch. The province expects to have three plants up and running by 2020, according to the BC Jobs Plan. That's the hitch, though, jobs. So trying to get a skilled workforce that can stay around, uh, that doesn't uh, just get exported when you don't need them anymore, send them back to Ireland or uh, send them back to Newfoundland. Uh, so it, with that in, in mind, we're going to have to develop a very stable and robust employment resource. Despite all the hurdles, these economic students believe LNG is in fact not a Hail Mary and indeed a viable option for BC to pursue. From our perspective it is because um, the world market, the uh, prices of uh, liquefied natural gas are so high that um, exporting our natural gas at our price that we have it now is a huge benefit for us economically. It's a, such a huge market, it's hard to say. Um, they do have a large amount of liquefied natural gas but there are so many different players in the market that can, or BC is just as a viable option as anything else. It's anticipated the demand for natural gas in the Asia Pacific will increase by two and a half times by 2030 and will continue to rise in subsequent years. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.